Hey guys, Colin McLeod here from the Stock Market Basics.com. Continuing on with our daily intraday stock picks for December 17, 2013, we've got the shorts. Now, the first short on our list is DG, Dollar General Corp. This is in the special retail sector and shares of the New York Stock Exchange. Now, we like this dollar company as a short for today for the following reasons. The stock has been in an uptrend. The latest run up saw the stock break the 60 barrier and continue to move higher. The rally ended in a shooting star as the stock started to reverse. After turning sideways for two sessions, yesterday the stock broke below the highs and put in a big move to the downside, closing near the lows. We'll see if this stock can move even lower as sell-offs continue, and if it does drop below $59.32 a share, we'll plan to short the stock with a price target of $58.30 as an intraday trade. Here is a daily chart of Dollar General. The next short on our list for today is KBR. This is in the heavy construction sector and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. We like this construction company as a short for today for the following reasons. The stock briefly touched the previous high in October before it lost upside momentum. The stock then gapped lower and traded sideways for several weeks before breaking down even further. After the last move lower, the stock made a weak attempt to move up, and yesterday the stock reversed early in the session and sold off closing near the lows. We'll see if this stock can make another leg down as the market opens today, and if it does drop below $30.40 a share, we'll be looking to short it with a price target of $29.80 as an intraday trade. Here's a daily chart of KBR. Short number three on the list for today is MAT. This is in the toy sector and trades on the NASDAQ. We like MAT as a short for today for the following reasons. The stock gapped out in May of this year, and has not been able to reach the previous highs. The latest rally lost momentum just below the previous highs with a double top. The stock has now been consolidating for several sessions, edging lower. And yesterday, the stock moved down towards the lows of recent consolidation range, closing weekly. We'll see if this stock can break down today, and if it does drop below $45 a share, we'll be looking to short it with a price target of $44.15 as an intraday trade. Here is the daily chart of MAT. The next short on our list for today is MTGE. This trades on the New York, sorry, this trades on the Nasdaq. Now we like this stock as a short for today for the following reasons. The stock has been moving lower since April of this year. In July, the stock started to rally up from the bottom, but topped out in October, well short of April's highs. Since then, the stock has made several equal lows until it broke down in the start of December. After a period of consolidation yesterday, the stock broke down again on heavy volume. We'll see if there's any follow through to the downside as the market opens today, and if this company does drop below $17.70 a share, we'll be looking to short it with a price target of $17.40 as an in intraday trade. Here's a daily chart of MTGE. Short number five on the list for today is OHI. This trades on the New York Stock Exchange, and we like this as a short for today for the following reasons. The stock has been moving lower since May of this year. Since then, the stock has made two lower highs in an attempt to rally back up to the highs of May. The last top in October led to a period of sideways trading until the stock broke support several sessions ago. And yesterday, the stock resumed the lower move, closing at the lows of the day on one attempted rally. We'll see if this stock can have another leg down as the market opens today, and if it does drop below $29.70 a share, we'll be looking to short it with a price target of $29.20 as an intraday trade. Here's the daily chart of OHI. Next up we've got QIHU. This is in the internet sector and trades in the New York Stock Exchange. We like this as a short for today for the following reasons. The stock made a high in September this year and has been trading in a widening range since then without making a significantly higher high. During this time frame, the stock has been held up at $75 level several times. And yesterday, the stock moved, had a big move lower on heavy volume after a weak two-day rally attempt. The stock closed well above support, but with this stocks like this, you never really know what tomorrow is going to bring. If its support level does bust tomorrow, we'll be participating in a lower move. We'll be looking at this stock if it does drop below $75 a share with an intraday price target of $73 as an intraday trade. Here's a daily chart of QIHU. 
Last but not least, we've got Safeway Inc. This is in the grocery sector and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. We like Safeway as a short for today for the following reasons. The stock caught fire earlier in the year and has made a powerful move up. Since topping, up, topping out in October, the stock has made a series of lower highs and higher lows in a tightening formation. The last rally attempt was very weak and the volume was light, and yesterday the stock moved back down towards the previous lows. This stock may or may not have any follow through due to the downside, but if it does move lower and start to break down to the previous lows, we'll expect stops to be taken out and drop to the gain momentum. If this stock does drop below $32.20, we'll be considering it as a short. If the stock is able to break $32, we will target $31.55. If the stock is unable to break $32, we'll exit our position with a small profit. Here's daily chart of Safeway. Once again, my name is Colin McLeod from the StockMarketBasics.com. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for future updates, as well as check out our Freedom 35 membership program.